All right, time for our next community conversation. We're joined by Jeff Robinson, owner of the Consignment House. Hey there, Steve. All right, Casey. Jeff, tell us a little bit about the Consignment House. Well, hi, Steve. Um, well, we're a consignment store on the downtown mall. Um, we sell local art and uh, international art and jewelry, uh, rugs, a whole number of things. Um, we uh, feature a lot of local artists, uh, such as Randy Smith, uh, Edward Thomas, Martha Sanders, uh, Susan Patrick, uh, Min Martin. We have glass artists, we have painters, uh, wood and sculpture, all kinds of different, different stuff. Um, we're across from Christian's Pizza, uh, catty corner from the movie theater, and we're open seven days. And the store's been there quite a while. When did you get involved and what kind of is your vision for the future? Well, uh, 2019, we had the opportunity, my wife Melissa and I, to take over the store from Jose and Carla. Uh, the store has been there for over 30 years, and uh, about the same time, the building changed hands. So we were able to work with the owners on giving it a facelift, uh, which in what turned out to be the beginning of the pandemic. Um, and so it's now kind of a new, very refreshing uh, space. Uh, people that haven't been in, you know, in a while have just commented how beautiful it is. Uh, our vision was to kind of create a space that um, embraced the concept of neuroaesthetics, where the place can calm you by just being beautiful, like a, being in nature or a, a you know, museum or mm -hmm. cathedral or something. Feels very welcoming just from the photos, no less mm -hmm. walking into the store itself, yeah. I imagine. Um, take us through the consignment process, how that works, and. Um, how do you learn about items that maybe you take in on consignment? Well, we ask prospective consigners if they'll send us pictures and all the information they have. And then uh, we see if it's gonna be a fit for the store and we think we can sell it. And uh, then we take it in, do research ourselves and um, come up with the appropriate price and uh, work with the consigners very, very transparently to try to make sure everybody's happy. And, uh, and then after a few months, if it hasn't sold, we revisit that and maybe drop the price a bit. Um, if people come in and offer things, uh, prices, then we'll take it to the consigner if it's outside the little wiggle room parameters that we have. Uh, and then uh, we go from there. So Imagine you've learned a lot about the process over the last four years Yeah, or so. it's been quite a, <laughs> quite a learning curve. Uh, it, the research is, is one of my favorite parts because you just get to dive down a little rabbit hole and find out so much mm -hmm. about artists and uh, processes, it's really fun. And you, like many businesses downtown, kind of work together with the other businesses to, to kind of boost the uh, impression of the downtown mall. Yeah, I think uh, the downtown mall is such a unique place and, and most, if not, well not all, but most businesses are, are you know, one of a kind. And uh, I think we're losing a lot of that in our society and, and to have that downtown and keep that identity and our, that bit of our culture alive is, is uh, I find, you know, very uplifting to me you know I feel you know very grateful to be able to be part of that downtown community and watch how the life goes by every day well Jeff appreciate you coming in continued success well thanks Steve right, Casey